Guys, we are here in Rustans and we are going to we are here in the dairy department and let's see which items are keto and which are not for keto. Okay? By the way, welcome to Stay Keto Filipino and uh, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and yeah, comment below, ask questions and answer questions if I'm, if not, I'm not able to answer. Okay? So let's go. So these are what? What are these anak? It's lure pack. Spreadable. I think this is this is I guess this is margarine or yeah I don't think this is good for keto because it has uh, vegetable oil and it's mixed with butter and vegetable oil so not really good for keto yeah yeah let's look at the it is really low in carbs though. It is low in carbs. It's lure pack. Next is L and Beer. Soft and light butter. Mm. This may be good for keto. Unsalted light butter. 41% 41% fat content there. Yep. 50% fat free. Oh, so this is fat free. This is even lighter. This is 75% fat free. Not good for keto. You have to go for 100% fat, guys. This is Magnolia Margarine. Not good for keto. Because it's 25% less fat. It's light, so it's not good for keto. This is also another, another uh, margarine. This is Magnolia. The other one... The next brand is Mag the other brand is Arla spreadable again margarine. I think this is margarine. Butter blended with vegetable oil so that's margarine guys. Not good for keto. This is also anchor spreadable dairy blend. What is this? I think this is also, also margarine because their butters are gone. Uh, packed differently so not good for keto these things not good for keto what's that oh that's anchor whipping cream very good for keto whipping cream is good for keto what else what else what do you want what do you want oh there are other less other items here what is this cream no no don't open it knock don't open it knock we're not gonna buy this it's 155 oh. okay so it says Cream cheese from Marge at Tertenia. No, please, please be careful. This is cream cheese. No, don't open it. Don't open it. This is cream cheese, you guys. I think. Let's look at the fat content. Carbohydrates: 4.1 grams per 100 grams. I think this is okay because 4.1 of carbs is is low. So Milkana cream cheese. This is, I don't know, this is with herbs. This is light, 8% fat only, and plain and na natural. Another cream cheese is Emborg. Emborg cream cheese. Let's go for the fat content and carbs. Carbohydrates is 3 grams per 100 grams, so this is okay. Cream cheese is okay. And you can use these for uh, either desserts or even meals or food, like recipes how about this kes cream kes cream mascarpone 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 i don't know the carb content is 4.8 grams sugar is 4.8 so it has sugar you guys i don't know what mascarpone is this one is arla cream cheese i think this is also good cream cheese is good for what is it good for? It's good for desserts like this. Desserts and also recipes for food. Yeah. Now let's go for the milk. Milk is not really... We don't do milk in keto. Why? Because it has carbohydrates. What are the, what's the carb content here? Carbohydrates. Or carbohydrates is 4.8 grams per 100 grams. But you just don't eat... The reason why is because you don't really drink milk like lower than 250 ml, right? It's usually one glass or even more. So that's why we are not uh, recommending milk for keto. 
And of course, there are still other reasons why we do not recommend milk, but uh, I won't go into that because other YouTubers maybe are covering those items for me. But yeah, you can't really drink milk like a little, so that's why you're gonna avoid that. This is Melkana, this is uh, yogurt. This is a yogurt food in the dairy section. And let us see. The carbohydrates are, oh my gosh, 16.1 grams. And out of these is 13.3 grams of sugar. So this is not good for you. So, hmm. Elvir, this is still yogurt. Still, carbohydrates is 6.1. And out of it is 4.6 grams. A little bit over now. A little bit higher content of carbohydrates compared to the 4.2 or even the lower ones. Okay, so guys, this is uh, Greek uh, yogurt. So please, again, guys, just I just really want you to be careful with your carbohydrates. That's, that's why I wanted. I'm showing you now that I look at the aside from the ingredients, of course, the carbohydrate content. This is 16.0 grams. This is a lot of grams. Okay, so if you go, if you eat a lot of that, then if you, I mean, you know, guys, let's just be honest. You can't eat just a little bit of this. You know, uh, I just really want you to be discipline in you know staying away from you know from all these bye, 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 sweet bye, bye, stuff bye, bye. and bye, bye. stuff that are sour filled with carbohydrates now let's check the sour cream, sour cream. Uh, I've not really used sour cream yet but I've seen a lot of uh, people who use this for food let's see the carbohydrate content Wow 0 0.8 grams per serving and that is really really low really really low sugar practically zero sugar so this is good I'm not sure when I'll be able to use that but I'm really planning to use sour cream this is flavored yogurt this is a no-brainer this is like 20 grams of, of carbohydrates with carbs and a lot of sugar so this is not a, a no-brainer guys you do not eat these this is Nestle flavored yogurt drink again flavored yogurt drink Nestle most of these products I'm not saying all of Nestle are filled with sugar but that is 18 point 18 grams of 18 grams of carbohydrates oh my gosh yeah. next we yeah. go for another yogurt this is you play you play this is yogurt with carbohydrates wow. 17 points this is also sweet good. guys 17.6 grams and out of that 17.6 of sugar it is vanilla Udino vanilla uh, Carbs, 17 grams and then 14 grams of sugar again I don't think I'll be eating this stuff this is now cooking cream Elvir, Elvir cooking cream let's check carbohydrates wow 3.3 grams and 3.3 grams of sugar so okay. so yeah this is good guys this is good for uh, then we have whipping cream similar to the cooking cream 3.3 grams good for cooking and for desserts okay guys yeah I use this for my mousse and you could use this for your coffee we also have Milkana cream cheese cream cheese is 4.6 grams and 2.9 grams of sugar this is good but 4.6 is closer to 5 which may be too big uh, too high guys it's Castello Camembert cheese it has carbohydrates of wow 0 0.03 for the for the for per serving for 100 grams is 0.1 grams. This is really good. Camembert. You could use that for uh, cooking. This is brie. I love brie. I love brie, you guys. So this is also 0.03, similar to camembert. Uh, I don't know if, if that is uh, pronounced that way. So these are really good cheeses. Next, we have uh, Dana Blue Extra Creamy. This is from Ember, you guys. And then up to this Danish blue cheese, the carbohydrates is 0.5 grams, of which 0.5 grams of sugar, this is really good. Uh, I've tried uh, eating blue cheese, I don't know if it was Danish blue cheese with uh, pizza. Of course, I ate only the tacos, guys. This is a good kind of cheese, only for people who are into Danish blue cheese. You know, Danish blue cheese can be bitter and tastes weird. So also this Castello blue cheese, Danish blue cheese, carbohydrates is zero, sugar is zero. And it's really good for you guys. Okay. Next 
we have what do we have here? Okay, we have pizza topping from Arla, and the carbohydrate content for this is carbohydrates is one gram and one gram of sugar. So that's good. That's good for I think for 100 grams of this pizza topping. Next is another big cheese. It's mozzarella from Arla, and I think this is similar. Carbohydrates also one gram, and per serving is 0.3 grams of carbohydrates, which is the sugar content. And this is mozzarella. It's really, really big. This oh, it's really, big. really big cheese. You guys just look at my arms there. And all the other stuff there. Of course, butter. This is Arla's butter, unsalted. Of course, we don't do salted butter. And of course, butter is really good. Just by looking at it, this is 0.2 grams of sugar, 0.7 grams of sugar, 100 grams. It's really good. You can eat this. I use this for, um, you know, your, your food, your your coffee, and also my favorite is Anchor. It's really. It's only 129. Arla was 169 pesos. So this is a carbohydrate is zero. Total uh, sugar is zero. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. I hope that you enjoy that. I hope that you learn something about going to the dairy section, which is one of my favorite places to go when I go groceying and yeah I hope that you get the life that you want to get the help that you deserve and I hope that you stay keto Filipino see you tomorrow bye bye